We were at Korean Immersion Charter School in St. Paul. We're at uh, Uni University in Hamlin. So from here, you just take the green line, get off at Hamlin, and go a couple blocks north. Um, we're um, K to right now. We have kindergarten through sixth graders. Sorry, we don't have the pictures. I bought lots of information. But um, so we're. Right now, have kindergarten and sixth graders. We have 60 kids. Um, we are majority free and reduced. Kids qualify for free or reduced price lunches. Um, we have a, ma a majority of Karen students. So those are students, um, like probably their parents' generation was from Burma, and they grew up in refugee camps in Thailand, and then they came here. So most of them are EL, English learners. Uh, we do have. Uh, a number of, of biracial kids, so like one parent's Korean, one parent's Caucasian. We have a, a Caucasian family, a Somali family, a Japanese family, some Korean families. Anyway, so it's somewhat diverse, but the majority are um, EL uh, and qualify for free and reduced. So we do need help. Um, they, a lot of our students are below grade level in reading and math. Um, so if you volunteer at our school, you could. Um, you could do the one-on-one -on -one tutoring. You could do your classroom observation. You could even, um, if, if you want to do, uh, pretend it was voting season, if you wanted to teach, the, do a project on, um, you know, civic responsibility, whatever. We're, this is our first year, so we're pretty open to um, good creative ideas. Our school hours are Monday through Friday, 8.30, to 3.30, but we have an after-school program that goes till 5. We also have Saturday school from 9 to 12, um, so you can help at any of that. We have a, a Lunar New Year celebration coming up uh, February 19th, so you can even help plan that. And <laughs> it's actually, we're looking for, we want our kids to do a skit, so if um, you can help do that. So we're really open. Uh, to good ideas, and I'm not gonna sit here and tell you, and I'm sure like, with other, we, so this is our first year, so we had some U of M service learning volunteers last semester, so a lot of them, I think you just come and do your hours and that's it. So if that's all you're gonna put in, that's all you're gonna get out. I'm not, you're not gonna like become some kid's mentor and see them graduate high school. But it's up to you. If you commit that way, um, and you keep in touch with kids, you might get that out of it. But if, um, I don't mean to seem cynical, but I understand you're busy. Um, so if, if you want to work one-on-one -on -one with the kid, you can. If you want to work more in the classroom, just help out the teacher, you can do that. Uh, if you want to help in more like administration stuff, you can do that. If you just want to help in the lunchroom, or um, some of our uh, PE is kind of cool. So we have, uh, so we have, we try to do, we have Korean language class, and then depending on the grade, there's more or less Korean instruction in the class. Um, one quarter we had Taekwondo during PE. Right now we have a, a former professional soccer player from Korea who's doing, because uh, a lot of the kids are really into soccer. Um, we do like Korean drumming and fan dance um, and all kinds of stuff. Any questions? But, uh, yeah, so you can come any day, Monday through Friday. 8.30 to 5, Saturdays, 9 to 12. And then we have different special events you can help with. we right off the green line. You just have to uh, fill out a form, be with our executive director, Brad, and he'll kind of see what you want to do and plug you in. Any questions? All right, thank you.